Oh, hallelujah. I don't know how I know this. I don't even know how I think I know this, but I think I do. And I think I'm going to talk about it, glory. And it's in regards to... Pretend fighting. <laughs> Pretend fighting. Like WWF wrestling. You know, I don't know if they really... Uh, I don't... I don't know how real it is. I'll just assume. Let's just let's just let's just uh, let's say yeah, they're really doing stuff, but somehow let's call it not real in a way. <laughs> so I'm sure being slammed, no matter whether it's like whatever, whatever. So um, fake fighting, like WWF wrestling. You got these guys on there, and they're fighting back and forth, and they get out before they get under the ring. They they get the camera in their face, and they're pointing into the camera, and they're like. I'm going to mess you up. Whatever, you know, I haven't seen wrestling since I was a kid, so Hulk Hogan, you know, the, one of the original guys. <laughs> oh. I'm going to mess you up, Hulk Hogan. I'm going to turn you into next week. Blah, blah, blah. And all this jibber-jabber. And that's kind of how I see uh, between the debating, between, like, Obama and... Uh, Bush and whatnot, they're all fighting back and forth, and then when they closed off the cameras, they go back to their normal life, and they're not even against each other, because the show is over. The show is over. President of the United States is a pretty big thing, but what if there's something so big that makes that look like not even nothing, they, they, like to use them as like a smoke screen or a puppet show for us to look at and think we're getting involved with something big when when really it's not doing much difference, you know? I don't see how much things are really going to be changing in, in political issues. If there's a bigger voice out there, if there's a bigger power that's going to override it all. If it's going to absorb it all and they're all kind of just sucking it up and kind of eventually compromising enough on their own beliefs to um, not offend this giant power, then there's not, then there's really not even a, then there's really not much to look at the fight between the two Republicans, the right wing and the left wing and independent. The, the, the fight between the two is, 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 is not even, it's non-existent. It's just like, it is such a, it's such a stupid game, you know? You go play a video game at the arcade and you're sitting there fighting back and forth, blowing stuff up. Dude, you get done, nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's entertainment. The only thing that was exchanged was money. There's money exchanges in all the politics and all the demographics and all the... campaigning and all the blah, blah, blah and all the commercials, all kinds of money being exchanged. It's just an, another game, another business and another, another form of entertainment for the people. Like reality TV, you know? It's like, it's, yeah, it's kind of real, but there's cameras in front of people, so how real could it be? People don't always act like they do with cameras in their face. If someone had a camera on me, I could not do the things that I do. I could not handle it. I would, I would act very different. I would be preaching in front of the camera constantly. If I knew people were seeing it, I'd probably talk about God a lot or work my way into somehow being able to bring the message out. Glory. But I just, I kind of wanted to make a message in regards to the false fights between the Republicans and the Democrats. As much as they really are serious about their stuff, it's kind of like being seriously angry when you're playing Mario Kart and someone just threw a turtle at you and threw you off and made you lose the race. It made you lose the whole, the whole cup, you know? You, you lost the whole, the whole grand cup, you know? You don't get the silver cup, you got the gold, you got the... The, the other cup, you know, underneath it, your third place instead of first place or something, you know, something really stupid like that. And getting heavily involved in politics seems like that to me. Because the real battle is between God and the devil, flat out. It's a war for souls, flat out. And so the politics, as big as, and as, big as it really is, is, is really ultimately not anything worth looking into. So I, if I'm going to vote, yeah, I'll vote. And I keep somehow ending up not voting. But I, I mean, I'm not against it. I just, I'm just, I think it's just laziness or just whatever. 
that I don't vote that much. But it doesn't really matter that much because what's going to happen is going to happen. God said it's going to happen and it will happen. And I'm not quite sure how much the uh, politics really have anything to do with anything. Other than just another way to get people to lose track of the gospel and the war. The real war between God and the devil. The devil wants to be like God on the throne. God is already on the throne, so it's like a war for the throne. We're all caught up in the middle of it, and the devil has good ways of helping us not get into battle by distracting us with entertainment. Whether you're fighting on video games or you're fighting, watching people fight and rooting for your own team in the baseball games or the football games or the basketball games or it's the, you know, the WWF wrestling or whether it's politics. Stupid, worthless games that exchange money and entertain people and you really get nowhere. Yeah, you get into it, but it doesn't mean you changed anything. Whichever Republican, whether whichever Republican president we got, whichever Democratic president we got, we still have abortion, we still have gay marriages, we still have all kinds of different things and laws are still going on, but nothing really changes. Nothing really changes. The only thing that's going to change anything is when people get raised from the dead and they are really, truly not walking in darkness, but walking in the light that God himself brings. God himself is trying to bring light to people so they can be a part of the winning team. Amen?